praise the Lord. Glory be to God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad. Glory be to God. This is our Wednesday Bible study day. Glory be to God. So let us get into the word of God. We First of all, we want to go before the throne of grace right now and give thanks unto the Lord for this, this blessed day. Glory be to God. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come before the throne of grace right now. We just come giving thanks and praise for your goodness and your mercy, your everlasting love towards us. God, you loved us so much, God. You are there at all times, keeping us all the time under your wings of protection. Father God, we give you thanks and we give you praise for this blessed day as we acknowledge you in everything, God, we do. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for a blessed day, Father, today, because every day you have made and created everything. And we bow down before you, God, and honor you today. We honor you with everything that we have, Father God. We give it over into your hand, knowing that you are guiding us and leading us as we follow you, Christ Jesus. And Father, we stand on your word today that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, Father God, we thank you right now that those tongues be condemned for the judgment they have spoken against us, against your will, Lord God. And we thank you right now that as we go into your word, Father God, have your way today. None of me, but all of you. Lord God, touch my lips, Father God, and speak through me, God. Touch my lips. Anoint every word that comes out of my mouth. Father God, I surrender my all into your hands. I surrender everything. Lord, I deny myself today. Lord, that you may shine and show forth your word, Lord God. And I thank you right now that you, Holy Spirit, have in your way. Speak today and let us have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to us. Father God, we thank you for checking every word, Lord God. And let every ear hear what the Spirit has to say to to us today. If we give you praise and thank Lord God for everything. Thank you for your word coming forth today. That we will take it and apply it, God, and be obedient to what you said to us today. We pray this prayer in thy son Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. We thank God for today and and we just want to get into his word today. I was kind of like confusing what I was going to teach on, but the Holy Spirit always knows what needs to be said. You have one thing, then the Holy Spirit come right on in on that very moment and give a word that he knows what needs to be said. So we just going to say, Holy Spirit, have your way today. Glory be to God. We just want him to have his way today. We're talking about the word of God coming to us saying, honor the Lord with your substance. Come on. And I just Google, what is substance? Come on. Substance, it could be any material. Come on. A physical property, anything. This could be a substance. Any, any chemical uh, compound or anything. It could be anything. Come on. It says any material that possesses physical properties is can be called a substance. Come on. It could be a physical thing. It could be what? Anything that you possess. It said this is referred to the main idea of something. Anything. Even you. We honor God. And this is what the Holy Spirit said. Honor the Lord with your substance. Come on. What well, substance is not only mean we get in this word, get an understanding. For all the time, it's not mean and money. We put substance as money. He wants you to honor him with it as well. But honor the Lord. Come on. With your substance. With, if you don't have money, what you're not going to honor God with your body. Your praise. These are, these are chemical comp- compounds. Element. 
Come on. That made by what? God. He created everything. He created every cell in your body. He created every substance God made. And without him, nothing could be made. What's going on wouldn't happen. This is everything. He's saying, honor me. Come on. That's how he wanted Israel, to follow him and honor him with whatever you need. Your system, honor God with where you at and what you have. We're going to get in the word today. And we just want to come in for everybody don't know what substance means. It's an element. Come on. Oh, any chemical, whatever you own of something, a thing. Come on. It's a substance. Come on. Anything that's been made up. Come on. God made. He created you. Honor him. We're going to get in the word of God and we're going to get our understanding of what the Holy Spirit is telling us. Let's go to um, Proverbs 3. Glory be to God. Let's go to Proverbs 3 and 9. Let's get in the word and let the Holy Spirit have his way today to get us to get an understanding. He said, all not get him. Come on. Get an understanding. Let's not just read this word and not allow the Holy Spirit to teach you. You got to what? Sturdy to show yourself approval unto God. Come on, a workman that need not to be ashamed. They will rightly divide this word. We got to rightly divide this word of truth. Come on. What do you mean? Work it in your life. Get an understanding of what the Holy Ghost is teaching you. When you read it or hear it, go to God and give me an understanding when you don't understand. We're going to get in there in this and let God teach us today what is the substance he's telling us to honor him with. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's get into this. I'm excited for the Lord and for his word for to hear what the Spirit is saying to us today. Glory be to God. Let's go there. It says, Honor, and we're in Proverbs 3 and 9. Let's go there. It says, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. Come on. All thine increase. I may not have money, but what have I increased to honor God with? What I have to honor Him? What substance? Come on. That I have to honor God with. Hallelujah. Let's go over here to, um, let's hold this hand. Let's go over to Psalms 150. Let's go there. I just want to read this. Come on, honor God. What is your substance? You don't have a, a, no money. Don't let the enemy come and tell you it's money you got to have. Because we know the, the love of money, come on, is the rule of evil. Come on, that's not money is not evil, but the love of it. Because if we base every substance about money giving, and you you struggling trying to get the money and depressed over the money, and don't realize that the enemy is being is you are being deceived by the devil. You trying to struggle and get it, and if God whatever you have, honor God with. And let's go there. Let's hold this Proverbs 3 and 9 right quick. We're coming back to it. But I want everybody to get in this word and get an understanding what God is speaking. What he spoke to me, I just want someone else to hear as well. And go to God for yourself. And say, Lord, teach me. And give me a great understanding of your word. And he will do it. He will speak to you and talk to you. Let's go here. We talking about honor the Lord with your stuff, with your substance. What is a substance? In an element, come on. Compound and made up. Come on. Chemical, body material, anything. It's something. Element that made up. I don't care what it is. 
a substance can be anything. It can be your body. Here we go. Let's go to Psalm 150. Let's go there. It says, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in the, his sanctuary. Praise him in the form of his power. Hallelujah. If you in if you at church today, whatever, get in there and give him all. Not only in the church, but wherever you at. Come on. Whatever you are, you are the temple of the Lord. Give him you. You are a a, a, a material or, or something, whatever you have, honor God with. I don't care what you have. Give. If he tell you to give, you give. Whatever you have, honor God and he will direct you. How? You must what? Honor him. Honor him with it if you help somebody. Honor him right now if you don't have it to give to somebody. But give yourself. This is what we're going to get into. He prays. You honor him with your body. Romans 12 tells us Paul was telling them to what? To be a living sacrifice and unto God. Honor their self. Honor their body as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. That you would be what? Acceptable. You're honoring yourself. Honoring your praise. When you praise, you honor, you wave it, uh, holding your hands up, and, and you're giving praise and thanks unto the Lord. And it says what? It says, praise him with for his mighty act. And we know what God have done. Give him praise. That's honoring him. Thank you. People get up in the morning and just go to work and don't say, Lord, I thank you. They just, they mind on that, that, that substance is getting to work. Do you get up and say, Lord, when I open my eyes and give him thanks for his act? Because you couldn't have woke up this morning. He breathed life and commanded your body to rise this morning. So this is enough to honor the Lord. Glory be to God. So he said, with his act, mighty act, and it was mighty, it was a mighty act that he breathed life within you this morning. Come on. And started you on your day. Gave you strength to get up out of the bed. Gave you strength to walk and step your feet upon the floor this morning. Glory be to God. Praise him according to his excellence and greatness. Not according to the way we want to well. I I I I pray tonight. Honor him with your substance. Honor the Lord. Give him praise. That's honor him. You don't have, don't take substance as being money. Watch the enemy. Because you'll think that, oh, this is what I did. Well, I gave my money. But you don't give God your praise. He said, with all his mighty act. You won't praise him and thank him for what he's done for you. We are complaining, just like Israel was complaining, and God brought them out of bondage. They didn't want to give him praise because of what condition. They looked at their condition. And didn't realize how how the works in the acts that God had done, the mighty acts that he done right before them. And we cannot see it is is right before us. We we get up like we got ourselves up. We never say, Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning for a brand new day. You breathe life within me. And you command my body to rise. Come on. But honor him. We're talking about honor him with your substance. Don't take substance is your money, but everything you have, he said, everything. Honor me with all. Come on. That means your money as well. Honor everything with him, not just some things. Because the substance is something. That's what a substance is. He said, with all your substance. That's me with all you have. And praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Come on. 
and praise him with the psalmist and the heart. If you can play music, whatever God anoints you to play, sing, sing it for the glory of God. Not sing to be seen, not praise. Praise God with your instrument. Glory be to God. Praise God. If you playing the organ, play it. Play it for the glory of God. Touch my hands, God, to play for you. Honor you, God, as I go. Don't think that, oh, I can play this piano. I know it from the back of my hand. Don't get in self. He wants us to honor him. Before I come before God's people on this program, I say, Lord, I don't know what to say. Forgive me. See, I have to humble myself to know it. I can't get up and say I know it because I don't know nothing without him. And he does be that way that you he he give it to me right at the moment when I was about to go on broadcast. And he give it to me. I get something out and he changed. Because I said, Lord, none of me but all of you. You know what the people need. I don't know. Sometimes it may not seem, Lord, you think I should teach that? But he just said, do it. I have one thing that God said, no, you teach this. Somebody, he knows. God knows what you need. See, I don't know. But he said, I know who needs it. It may not be popular to some of us, but it's popular to somebody that God may try to reach. Glory be to God. But he said what? He said, praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalmist and the harp. Praise him with the, the timbling instrument. Come on. And the dance. Praise him with what? Strings of instruments, organs, come on. We just got through saying that. With every gift God gives you, praise him with it. Your voice, praise the Lord. Not because I can sing so good, but whatever God gives you, he says sing. You may not can sing well for nothing, but the Holy Ghost want to do it through you. Letting you know that I cannot do it, but you got a faith or effort to say, Lord, here I am, and I will praise you. I will praise you, God. Glory be to God. And he says what? With the and up on the high sounding symbol. On the high sound symbol. Praise him that you, the Holy Spirit, just having this way in the instrument. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is honoring God. He said, honor the Lord with all your what? Sight. With the first fruit of all your what? Thine increase. Whatever you have, whatever God increased, whatever He has increased in your life, whatever He has blessed you with, honor Him with it. Come on. It says, and let everything that has breath praise. Come on. The Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Come on. Everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Even the birds, you hear them singing. They're, they're just singing. Just, you can hear them humming. Get up in the morning, you can hear them praising the Lord. Everything. We may not know what they're saying, but who knows? We believe they're praising God, the Creator. And this word tells us to honor Him. Come on. We'll go back to Proverbs. Let's go back to Proverbs 3 and 9. Say, honor the Lord with thy substance, with thy substance, whatever you have. You got a car, and God gave you four or five cars. Have you honored God with it and say, help somebody else that don't have a way to get to work, don't have a way to get to church? Get to church? Are we really honoring God with our substance? Are we selfish? Come on. These, this is all your increase. You got to increase you with a brand new car, four or five cars. And you, you, you go to church, don't care about it. You got your big shiny car. 
come on. And now concerned about the other person. Don't let them have to beg you to get there. They say, I'm coming to get you. Because, see, I'm honoring God with my car. I'm not going to let you act so bad. I'm going to make it my effort of honoring God to come get you. That's my son. Come on. Some things we think we honor God because we're putting our big money on the table. Yeah, but he said with all your stuff. Come on. You may be honoring him with your money and your time. But you're not honoring him in the place of helping somebody. Come on. The word is the word. God is saying what God said. We got to think about it. What can you honor him with all? Come on. All I have. All your increase. If you don't increase four or five cars, come on. And the car sitting up at, at home, and you can help somebody, but we don't want to ask God that because we're scared God going to say, give that to sister so-and-so. Oh, oh, if you got a way of helping somebody get to the next level, don't, don't honor God with it. That I'm going to help them. That's honoring God. No, don't look for the person got the, got the, uh, bow down to you to get there but if you know how that's why god raised us up if he raised you up in an area you honor him with that what he don't bless you with we talking about honor the lord come on with your substance let us hear what the spirit is saying to us today honor the lord with all your sister, and with the first, first fruit of all thine, of all thine increase. Come on. It ain't say all thine, just your money. It say all your increase. We selfish, because you know, we know we selfish. I ain't giving her no car. I ain't giving her now one of these cars, and she looks better. Are you giving someone your best? Because God said, give it. Are you giving them your worth that you don't want? He said, honor. See, honor me with it. Give. When you give, he said, give with a cheerful heart. Come on. And giving is not all money. People got to get off of this money. Thing because we've become to have greed, covenant. Whatever I have, if I may not have nothing, I may not have the money. Don't just dwell the Lord, I wish I had the money to give. But what can you do? If you can't do nothing but give them the word and let me speak through you, you honor me with your body, you honor me with your voice. If you can't do nothing but encourage a person, let, honor God. Ask God, what can I do to help this person? This is what God said. Honor me with myself. Let's go on. He said, we do this. And with all dying, come on, first fruit with all, all. It say all. If you, whatever you done, 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 done. If God say do it, don't don't charge them. If God say do that, think about it. See, a lot of things we we gonna miss it because we we didn't honor God with it. We were selfish. But make sure you done heard from God how to do it. Come on, how to I honor Him with this. Honor to help. Somebody else. Honor God with whatever you increase, whatever your increase. If this grocery and you had a lot of oh a lot, you can help somebody else that don't have grocery. If we hear from the Holy Spirit, if we ask the Lord, who can I help? But we don't ask it. Because we're so scared. We got so much 
of our own till we care so much about ourselves that we're not honoring God like this. And God telling us today, honor me with all that you have. All, not just some of your stuff. I know y'all honor me with your time, but hey, you're not honoring in the way the Lord's leading us to honor him. Let's go on. He says, so shall thy bonds be filled with plenty, and thy press shall burst out with new wine. What do you mean? You will have an overflow. God is not only saying money. Come on. He'll have so your favor upon you. You so that when you you go to the uh court and then they'll throw it out. Come on, because you don't start honoring God with everything you have. You don't start hearing what the spirits tell you to do. You've been acknowledging God in all that you have. You've been lifting it up to the Lord. What did Jesus do when the time for those? 5,000. The disciples wanted to what? Send them away. He did in Matthew 14. They wanted to send the people away. They, God had, Jesus had ministered to the peoples and, and, and the disciples wanted to send them, send them on home where they can eat. Jesus had compassion. The word said he had compassion on the people. But see how 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 we don't have compassion on others. Let them go home and eat. Uh, they can get something on the way. See, they didn't have the compassion. This is what it said, and it said in Matthew. It said, "And Jesus went forth and saw a great mother too, and was moved with compassion." This and that. That it's a fourteen chapter of Matthew in the 14th verse. And he would move with passion towards them. And he would, he had passion to heal them, them that were sick. He healed. Come on. If God tell you to go pray for sister, sister uh Brenda, go go uh, pray for Brother Joe. That's honoring God. You honoring the Lord because you heard him and you obeyed and you were honored what he said. If he said go, that person need pray. Most of the time when God have people on my mind, I, I have to ask about them or, or call them or text them and see is everything all right? Begin to pray when God bring them to my attention. I don't know what's going on. I don't have to be nosy to know what's going on. I just check on. I just want to what? Have compassion because of what God does put these people on my mind. And I begin to what? Pray. I don't have to know your situation unless you come to me and say, Sister, Sister Joey, would you, would you pray for me? You know what I'm saying? On this matter. And then what? I'm going to go before the throne of grace. That God word said we're going to agree. I'm going to say we're going to touch and agree together on this. We know because I believe by faith that God's going to be in the midst of it. Glory be to God. Let's go on. Jesus is talking about how Jesus had compassion. And then it said, and when in the fifth, he said, and when it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, This is a desert place. This a desert place, deserted place, and and the time is now past. No more. Send the mother to the way. Listen at this. That they may go into the village and what? By themselves. Come on. Them that they are by their own food, and get, let them go on down there in the pit and let them go now. See, but Jesus had so compassion for those people. Come on, and Jesus said unto them, They need not to depart. Come on, give them to eat. 
He told them, give them, give them something to eat. And they said unto him, we have, we have here, but nothing but what? Five loaves and two fish. And he said, bring them hither to me. Bring it to me. Jesus said, bring that what you got. Come on. Honoring. Honoring it. And he commanded the mother to, to sit down, had them to sit down. But it go down. Jesus what? Prayed over it. And then he told them to bring it to him. And he commanded them. See? And he took, it said, he commanded the mother to, to sit down on the grass. And he took, and took the five loaves and the what? Two fishes and lifted up. Come on. Honor his father with. And he what? Blessed it. That's what it means. Honor God. Whatever you got, God, I bring this before you. This, this salary I made. It, whatever these two fishes is and five loaves of bread, I'm going to honor you with it, God. Come on. Whatever I have, God, if I got five cars, Lord, I'm going to honor you. Then you honor God, he might say, give it one to sister so-and-so. Or if you got enough money, go and buy sister so-and-so. Help her get in, in a home. Or help her in her children. Come on. Uh, help this brother get a job. If you got a job, make a job for him. Help him. See, that's what God honor him. And what did Jesus do? They didn't have but two fishes and five loaves of bread. And he what? Lifted up and blessed it and gave loaves to his disciples. Now he gave loaves. Now, he gave many loads. And they took up. Come on. And they all did eat and were full. Come on. They were filled up. They were full. And they took up a fragment of remaining. Come on. Twelve baskets left over. Come on. If you honor God, he said over there in, in Proverbs that he'll burst out your bones. But you first of all got to honor God. This is what Jesus did. He honored his father with the little bit to demonstrate to us whatever you have, honor me with it. And I'll multiply. Come on. You're not losing nothing. What gain? What profit you to gain? You want to hold to your money, hold to your, because me and mine and our four, we got it going on. And you don't care about the rest of them. See, we got to be watchful of how we think. Are we honoring God? Come on, we know what's up to me. Any element, come on. Any element, compound, any compound, anything. That means something, whatever you have. He said, honor me with all your increase, all what you got. Come on, honor the Lord. You know someone out those, if you got an extra room, you pray to God, you know, how to help them. But if you got the money to put them in somewhere, put them somewhere. Just honor God. God, I want to help this person. Come on. When they're in a need now. not Got to be careful that the devil ain't using you. You got to go before God and honor him about it. Come on. This is what God telling us today. Honor me with all your substance. And we... So you how Jesus had compassion and God telling us to honor him with all our increase. First, first of all this, you, you gain all what you have. I don't care if someone say, I, I need some bread. Give, give him half of your bread. I have some people and they said they was in need or something. Then I said, well, I said, Lord, I'm going to give them half of God. I give, I have. I said, well, I gave you that for you to get to where you got to get to your job. And that, and I don't worry about what it left me. If it left me, we're going to buy this in half. 
Come on. If I had $12, I'm going to buy, give you six, and then I'm going to have six. I buy. I'm not going to worry about, well, I give them all my $12, and then what I'm going to have for the next one. Right then and there, I honor God. I say, Lord, God, heal God. I say, give me half of that what you got. See, give what you have. Don't get your mind think of you. It's got to be a bunch of material things that I got to have to help, to honor God with. He said to us, he said to us today, honor me. Come on. This is what God said to us. That's, and he said, what? Then what? Let's go back to Proverbs. We already demonstrated how Christ had demonstrated to us how we must what? Honor him. He did what? Took those two fishes, what lift he had, and he lifted up to God. Don't go to complain about the job. I'm not making enough. Honor God with that. See, you don't know how he he will bless it. Not depending on his money. When you live that little you have, you'll watch the favor of God upon your life. Come in, you, you, they say they don't give you credit on your life, baby. All right. And you got to look in there, in the little things that God, right in the little things. And you can see God showing himself big and strong. That's what he did to those people. The multitude, he showed that if they just honor God, that was a demonstration for what they had to pray. And I'm going to honor God with this, these, these two little bread. We're going to eat this and we're going to thank God and we're not going to worry about tomorrow. Because tomorrow, what? Things for itself. Whatever tomorrow is, we don't have time to thank for it for today. Give thanks to the Lord today. Honor him with what you have today. Come on. Don't worry about tomorrow. But let us honor the Lord with your stuff. Praise him. Give him if you don't have nothing but to give him praise. When I come into the sanctuary of the Lord or wherever I'm at, at home, I give God praise. I lift my hand because if I do it at home and practice it at home, then I'll be able to do it wherever I'm at the sanctuary. That means wherever I'm at church because it's a part of me. I wish him. That's a part of me. Because I honor myself, my body, I give him unto him as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. I want to be acceptable before God. Walk in his righteousness, you're giving yourself as being acceptable before God. Honor him and obeying him, that's me, you honoring him and being acceptable before the Lord. Glory be to God. This is what God tells us to honor me. With all your increase. If God bless you with it, he said, honor me with it. Acknowledge me with it. And I'm going to direct your path. Come on. He said, then your bones will burst open. Come on. And be full with plenty. He said, plenty. I know the enemy come try to get you us lazy sometimes, but I said, devil, you is a lie. I'm going to get up and honor the Lord this morning. Try to get you to lay down. You need to lay down. And, and uh -uh, I'm getting up and giving praise to God. I'm going to seek him and continue no matter what it looks. Don't allow your, your, your things to get you down. Come on. Don't allow this stuff to get you down. Let's go to Proverbs. Glory be to God. 16 and 3. And it tells us this. Still talking about honor him. It said what? Commit thy work unto the Lord. And thy throat shall be established. Come on. Commit it. Everything committed up to God. That's what Jesus done. He did what? He committed it up to him. 
He honored him. He lifted up. He looked to the hill for which he knew his help coming from. And, and God blew on it. He'll blow on your situation. He'll blow on those bills. If you honor those bills, come on. He said, commit your work. Thy works unto the Lord. And then your thoughts going to be his work. God going to establish your thoughts. He's going to establish. Come on. He'll do it. That's why he told us. Also that that what? In all your ways, acknowledge me. That's that's in in Proverbs 3 where we were. He said, all thy ways, acknowledge me. And I'm going to direct your path. Now, in everything, acknowledge God about it. Acknowledge God with it. That's what he said. And he, he said, I'll make a way. I'm going to supply your needs. Honor him with everything. I don't care where you at. He said, all. Oh, if you're, you're in a need of a savior, honor the Lord. God, here I am. I'm in a need. Come on. Of a savior. You're honoring him. I give myself unto you. And not worry about the cares of this world. Listen to God. Honor him. with what I don't care if you're rich and you got plenty. God still will, still will multiply. If you give. What did you know, the, the young rich ruler came to him and wanted to follow? So he said, well, deny yourself and, you know, give up all you had. And so he said, well, I did this. I, 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 I honor my father and my mother. I, I did all these good things, God. Come on. You might be paying your tithes on time and everything. You're walking around. I got my cars. I got my nice home. And, 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 and God said, you ain't honor everything. See? God said, then God didn't know where, where he fallen short at. He said, now, if you want to honor me and follow me, you deny everything. Can you give up like I am, gave my life for you? Christ, God sent his only begotten son, gave it all to us. He gave it all. He gave his son as a sacrifice just for us. And when Jesus told him, give it all up. Oh, he had his money. I, I, I did this in. I, I, I did. He said, well, sell all what you got. Give it up and give it to the poor. See, you got all those nice cars and all these homes, rent homes, and you couldn't just give someone? If God told you to give, what did he do? He walked away sad. Because what? He couldn't give it all up. He couldn't deny everything for the Lord. See, sometimes our way, we think we got it going on. I'm going to church 24 7. I know God going to bless me. I know. But there's one thing you like, like Jesus told the, the young rich ruler. There's one thing you like. You're not honoring me with all your soul. See, I honor you where I want to honor. Well, I did pay, pay this. I did, see. I did, but there's some God said, no, there's something I need you to do. More than just ask about the person. See. It's a reason God got a person on your mind. See, but that's why we're not honoring. And this is what God telling us today. Honor me with everything. See, all of He told him, you, you're missing something. You're lacking. Where are we lacking to honor him? Come on, with all our stuff. And not take these substance as being money because I'm paying my big tithes money. Come on. And I'm living good. I got my Stacey Adams on and, and I got my nice suit. 
Come on. This is the word of God. And we got to tell it. Dr. the Holy Ghost say tell it. And then we honor him. Come on. Not all with all. Not some, but with all yourself. Everything. Are you acknowledging God? Even in your service, serving him. Are you honoring him? Are you asking the Holy Spirit to have his way in the church? Are you honoring God when you get there and allowing the Holy Spirit to have his way? Then I'm just going to praise him because my house, God say, he said, my house is a house of prayer. Are we honoring other things more than we honoring God? And what he said in his word, in his word, come on. Are we more focused on, on, on my game? Are we focusing on what God called each and every one of us to do? Are we hearing what the spirit is saying to us today? Glory be to God. So we want to come and honor the Lord with ourselves. And we know what substance means. Anything, element, come on. Material. Whatever it is, you can honor the Lord with it. Helping someone to pour. Come on. You honor God means with God, you ask God, what can I do? God, I thank you for the blessings that you give me. Come on. This is what God's telling us today. Honor me with your sister. And I'll birth. I see if the rich young ruler would have gave it all up, God was going to give him double. But he couldn't trust that because his trust was in his money. Glory be to God. So we just want to thank God for his word today. And I just pray that we hear what heard what the spirit is telling us today and let us get this together and hear what the spirit is telling us about honoring god with all our substance come on all that you have your money everything honor god i honor you when jesus done that and honor god with it he didn't worry about what little he had or what he had and i just have to send the rest of them home he thought about others all of them so he know his father created the heaven and the earth so he know if i lift it up to my father he will blow on me and jesus and god blew on that and multiplied where did that come from he said i will burst out your fill your bones with plenty Hey, you honor God with what you got, then you'll start seeing you accumulate more. You begin to see it more added to you. But if you hold it tight, then God can't get in. Let us honor him, even with our praise. If you're sitting there at church and won't even praise God, because it shows you your lifestyle, what you do at home. In your everyday life don't be ashamed who around you show up your hand because you are in the need of a thing glory be to god don't be scared to give your life unto the lord if you ready to accept jesus as your lord and savior don't worry about your friend you're honoring god or giving yourself to him today so we just thank god for his word and we always want to give an invitation to anyone that right now needs a Savior, Jesus Christ. You need him in your life today. Honor him today and say, Lord, here I am. I give myself, I honor myself unto you. That you, and I believe you can wash away my sins. Because you already done proved it before the whole world, God, that you love me. Because you sacrificed and gave your son and gave him up just for me to have life. And he will come in today if you just surrender yourself and not deny him today. And just say, Lord, I give myself 
honor him. That's that's your substance. If you don't have nothing but to give up that sin you're doing and say, Lord, here I am. Wash me with the blood and I will be clean. Glory be to God. We just thank God for his word today. This is Word Faith Ministry. This is Minister Joe and Harris. And I love you and I know God loves you more. Praise the Lord.